hey guys uh, so this uh, tutorial we are going to visually uh, understand uh, you know and, and and prove the Pythagoras uh, theorem and uh, as you know already I think this is the basics that if we have a right angle triangle say something like this and this side is A, this is uh, the base which is B, so the length is A and the base B. And if you keep the hypotenuse as, as C, you know, the uh, the side which is opposite the 90 degree angle. So Pythagoras theorem states that uh, A square plus B square is equal to C square, right? So this is something that we will try and prove today visually using a, a very visual mean and and you know so which, which will also you know help us establish as to how uh, you know basically this theorem got proved initially uh, so you know if, if I take a you know the same triangle I just draw it all over again and uh, so I have something like this right so I call this A and this is B and this is C uh, now you you know uh, so a square can also be called as a into a which can be a square you know of, of side a since uh, if, if, if a square has side a then its area would be a square right because you know this the, the area of, of a square is is the uh, is the product of its sides so if I if I you know use this side a and I draw a square here right so and let's say all these sides are a, a a so this square now becomes uh, let me just write another color a square right so we can do this uh, you know similar thing for b where we do draw a square with all sides as b b b and uh, I just delete this from here uh, just write it over here so this also there so the, the 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 area of this square becomes b square right so similarly now uh, let me just draw the the uh, line c with a different color so that it becomes easier for representation right so let's say i just draw the side c here right and I put up a square which will end up looking something like this right and each of its sides is C and hence this is C square right so let me just pull this C square uh, you know the, the, the square with the, with the area C square out and uh, I draw it uh, just over again so it will look uh, something like say sorry like this right uh, yeah. and uh, okay so this is here this is here and this is here right so this is these are the sides c c c and c and this is c square so just redrawn this uh, square again okay so you know if now since if i take this side c it is it, a, a similar triangle with a b and c can be drawn here right so if i just draw a uh, a, a triangle 90 degree triangle you know with uh, uh, with this as the 90 degree this as c so uh, from our previous diagram which is c which we can see this is a and b uh, so and and if, if this line is exactly inverted right we get another uh, uh, you know triangle here so and where this side will basically be a this is B now if you see you know if I draw it from here uh, this is 90 degree I draw it from here to here so this is it's the same C which is you, you know again slanted so this is the 90 degree and uh, oh, sorry I think I have just uh, drawn it incorrectly here so this ends up uh, as uh, this is a and this is b the smaller side so again this longer side is a this shorter side is b 
and if I if I do the same thing here with with this diagonal here uh, so this becomes the hypotenuse here C this is B and this is A since this is the longer side right so uh, you know so now what we have to prove is that if this area is, is C square this area can also be represented as A square plus B square uh, now you know how can how what would be the easiest way of getting there so what we can say is if we see the this area of this side I mean if we see the length of this side this is A plus B length right and if we see the length of this side or this side it is again A plus B right so this can also be uh, assumed, like taken as so this is also square the uh, the outer uh, you know uh, structure rectangle that you have here is 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 a is, is a square because both its sides are a plus b right so now if i take the larger uh, square here and deduct all uh, these areas from it like this triangle this triangle this triangle and this triangle so if i deduct that area then we will again get this 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 area which is represented by c square so let let us uh, you know put it a, in a in a way such that uh, it, it we can we are able to prove that, uh, that c square is equal to a plus a, a square plus b square right so the the the, the area of the outer uh, you know square will be a plus b into a plus b right all right then we have to deduct the striped area which is four rectangles uh, four triangles I'm sorry four triangles into uh, you know the formula for a, 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 the the area of, of, a, of a triangle is half into uh, base into height so uh, what will essentially happen is it will be half the base will be we'll just take B as the base and A is the height right so this can ends up becoming uh, a plus B square minus 2 a B right which can also be written as if, if you just open up the the a plus B whole square thing becomes 2 a B minus 2 a B you see these two get cancelled here right so it ends up resulting as a square plus B square so the area which were which we were initially representing as C square is equal to a square plus b square so now you can you can comfortably say that a square plus b square is equal to c square and this is one of the visual ways you know in which you can you can you can prove that uh, that pythagoras, pythagoras theorem is is correct and and indeed uh, in in a case where you know uh, there's there's a, there's a length a and a base b and if they have a 90 degree angle between them and and the line drawn opposite to the 90 degree angle is c which is the hypotenuse then a square plus b square is equal to definitely is equal to c square so i hope this helped you understand the pythagoras theorem uh, visually in a better way so that you know you always remember as to as to how how to how to sort of you know uh, deduct uh, deduce it all right so i hope you had fun learning this lesson thank you